Hi, my name is Wayne Robertson. I'm the Writing Center Director here at Towson University. Uh, in a previous video, I explained how to use our new online tutoring system. In this video, I'm going to describe what to expect from a Writing Center visit and how to make the best use of your time with us. So what can you expect when you visit us? Our mission is to work one-on-one -on -one with other writers to help them improve their drafts. Some writers may use the Writing Center to improve uh, the organization of their paper. They might work on transitions or even reverse outlining the paper to tighten up the overall structure. Um, other students might visit us because they're, they've been asked to write a paper in Chicago style for the first time and, um, and they've never had to do that before. Uh, still others just want another set of eyes in the document. Um, one fact that oftentimes surprises people is how many writers use the Writing Center to brainstorm ideas. Uh, you see, for most people, staring at a blank computer screen doesn't offer a lot of inspiration. Um, and so instead, for a lot of folks, it's the act of talking through their ideas that helps them generate what they actually want to say. Uh, if that's true about you, I would recommend talking with your friends and family about your ideas. Uh, the advantage that a writing assistant brings, though, is that they're all really experienced college writers, so they have a good sense about whether a research question is answerable or would provide data that you can work with. Uh, they're also good at figuring out the scope of idea. You know, is this too big or too small for the length of paper that you're writing? So who are the writing assistants? Well, they're a mix of undergraduate and graduate students. Uh, I identify them by headhunting from uh, your faculty across campus. Uh, you see, I have my tentacles out in just about every department, and I'm constantly asking faculty to identify not just their good writers, but the best writer they had last year. Who would they want all their students to work with? Then I recruit that student and read some of the writing samples. And if I agree that that person's an excellent writer, then I invite them in for a 90 minute long interview uh, in which we actually have them give live feedback on student writing. Uh, we do that because we need to understand whether this person is just a good writer or if they're a good writer who can also give productive feedback. Um, if hired, that writing assistant will then go undergo 20 hours of initial training, uh, and they're also required to attend staff training meetings every week for as long as they're at the Writing Center. This does not mean, though, that we are experts or professors. Uh, and in fact, one of the largest misconceptions about the Writing Center is that we're somehow going to take your papers and start writing all over them, or that we're going to just be bossy pants and tell you what to do. In reality, we have a lot of respect for writers. So when you come to the Writing Center, it's about a partnership. Uh, you know more about your class than we do. You know more about the assignment and your professor. Uh, and of course, you know more about the topic that you're writing than we do, too. So what do we bring to the table? Well, we're really good readers, and we're interested in what you have to say. And I would argue that that's exactly the type of, of reader that every writer needs. Um, in addition, you can bring down a wide variety of different types of writing to us. We now have writing assistants from 25 different majors on campus, which means that we have a good fit for you, whether you're writing a biology lab report, a business case study, or an honors thesis in history. Uh, in addition, feel free to bring by non-academic writing. Uh, we look at a lot of resumes, cover letters, personal statements for graduate school, as well as just fiction and personal writing. Uh, my favorite session ever was working with a student who had to give a speech at his brother's wedding, and so basically we spent an hour writing jokes together. All this is to say that we built a writing center aimed at the various types of writing that you need to do. What we need is an active partner when, when we're talking about your writing. Of course, please bring your assignment and your rubric, but also let us know what you want to work on. What issues came up while you were writing? What past comments have teachers given to you? Um, you know, what are you most proud of and what are you most concerned about in this draft? I want to conclude by saying that we like writers and we like reading people's writing. Uh, everyone who comes to the Writing Center usually starts the conversation off by talking about how rough their draft is. Um, I regularly have people who are actually very good writers explain how they're terrible writers. Um, basically, I think it takes a lot of guts to share one's writing and ideas. And all I can say is try not to be too concerned about it. We're in the business of reading rough and even incomplete drafts. Uh, we're used to working with writers in process, so you can feel confident that your document will be read in a generous way by an interested reader. And while we're dedicated to helping you improve the draft, it's you, the writer, that we're most interested in and we want to be useful for. Um, when you come down to the Writing Center, we don't have an agenda. All we want to do is be as helpful as we can be in the time that we have. And that, in a nutshell, is the mission of the Writing Center.